So when you think about a Genentry solar inverter, you might be thinking about the obvious, which is a product that requires solar. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Admittedly, it is easy to associate the two, and we've even had a delay when importing our parts to make our inverters because of the company name. But did you know that a Genentry solar inverter can actually run your house without a single solar panel, wind turbine, or even a charge controller? Our products do support the grid in many ways. One of these is in the form of a UPS. Now I'm not talking about the delivery service, but rather an uninterruptible power supply. My dad actually used to call these UPS, but everyone else calls them a UPS. So how might this form of inverter setup benefit you? Well, stay tuned to find out. Well, hey everyone, how's it going? Sean here at Genetry Solar. And before I get into this video, of course, I encourage you to visit our website at genetrysolar.com. There is where you will find our product line as well as some other miscellaneous parts. If you want to get a hold of us or communicate with our community, forums.genetrysolar.com, that is really the best place to get a hold of Sid, the designer, the hardware, and software engineer for our products. Also a fan of all operating systems. If you want to get a hold of me directly, 833-GENETRY, toll-free Monday through Friday, 9 to 4 Eastern Daylight Time. You can also text me at that number, but standard rates do apply. So let's say you live in an area where electricity is cheap. Lucky you. Or that you are far below the national average of 23 cents per kilowatt hour consumed as of this video. Personally, my rate is about 18 cents per kilowatt hour consumed, but yours could be actually be as low as 10 cents or as high as 25 cents. That doesn't factor in things like time of use where available when electricity can actually be cheaper during certain times of the day. This is also known as off-peak use. So with that being said, you might actually have cheap rates, but also less than reliable service. Now you can of course go out, Buy a bunch of solar panels, the stand, the wiring, charge controllers, combiner boxes, and more. Or you could just buy some batteries and a Genetry solar inverter. With some wiring, you can save a substantial amount of money while having power even if the grid goes down. This is what we would refer to as a whole house UPS. And the great thing is it can be scaled up or down to meet your needs. Maybe you don't care if the air conditioning or the garage lights are on backup. You can design a system with the help of a qualified electrician and make sure that all of your critical appliances are always operating even if you lose the grid. Of course, more batteries means more runtime and more circuits running. Now, I want to stress that you should always seek a qualified electrician, which I am not, but you would have a dedicated input breaker that would feed into your inverter that would then either output straight to your circuits throughout your house through the inverter, charge and maintain your battery system, or without the use of grid, would actually convert the battery to usable AC. By the way, our inverter does support simultaneous charging and grid pass-through. All of this is done automatically, without any user input. In fact, you may not even notice that you lost the grid. With a very basic setup, the inverter would charge and maintain your battery bank to the levels that you specify. All of your circuits would be powered from the grid, then when the grid is lost, the inverter will nearly instantaneously switch to battery and a physical internal relay will disconnect the grid to the inverter to prevent any form of backfeed. This is sometimes referred to as eye landing. From here, all of your circuits are now being powered by the battery. The inverter will stay in this state until either the batteries go below a low voltage threshold shutdown or the grid is available once again. Now, if the grid does become available, the inverter will automatically transfer back to grid. And once again, all of your circuits are now grid powered. If the battery voltage is below a set number, the inverter will then begin charging the battery system from the grid. This ensures that the battery is always fully charged and ready for the loss of grid. Now, of course, all of these settings can be adjusted by the user. 
voltages and even amps can be controlled by the user. Now to be clear, a Genetry Solar Inverter is not a grid tie inverter. It's not even a grid interactive inverter by definition, which will send electricity to the grid from your battery or solar. So I hope this video has been informative. Genetry Solar Inverters are designed by us from the ground up. They are assembled right here in the United States. We are a small family business. We are very proud to put our names on our products. And if you are interested in supporting a small business, please head over to our website at genetrysolar.com. I would like to thank you for all of your support as always, and take care.